All right, guys, we're back with Sweet Keeps at your side. And right now, we just entered um, Count Hogstein's castle. And I when I, I did some of my own playing after because I was just like, I need to play more of this because I am such a sap for romance. And I looked up a walkthrough for one of the characters, and it said on the walkthrough that if you ha if it's your first time playing and stuff, then like go through this order to find out more about the game. And I didn't do that because I don't go by the rules. So we're gonna romance whoever we want to romance in this because I want to. But if you guys want to see each person, then like each person's route, then I will definitely do that because. I mean, I, I want to do what I want to do, and I can help you guys. I, I know the entire story, because I did, because when I looked up the walkthrough, I did it some looking up of, like, the plot and everything, because that's what happens with the internet and me. Like, I spoil things for myself that I should be like, oh my god, but I don't. So, we're going to continue this, and romance who we want to romance. So, let's get in this. We follow the piglet inside the castle Count Hogstein had indicated. It wasn't long before it opened up into a magnificent room that looked like a banquet hall for a period drama. Sorry guys, another text message. I have a game night to go to later on this full moon. So I'm not home alone by myself. Cause it's not fun being home alone with my baby, my baby dog. She's not really a baby, she's she's like eleven. So alright. All right, anyway, sorry about that. Uh, it, it wasn't long before it opened up into a magnificent room that looked like a banquet hall from a period drama. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we're gonna do the southern accent again. Oh, maybe I should turn off, um, hold on. I'm gonna turn off the, um, the, the voices. Now it's going slow. Come on. Okay. Alright, so we turned off character voices. The um, actual character voices, so I'll be able to speak over them. Um, so let's do this. Okay, it's... Okay, you know what? We're gonna... <laughs> we're gonna save... Uh, technical difficulties. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oink, oink. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the world of despair. I just like using my southern accent, so I thought it'd be a good excuse. You! A pig on a throne? What is this, some kind of half-assed political commentary? Be quiet. He can hear you. Have you already forgotten about the hostages? <sighs> That's my southern thing. Oink, oink, oink. Bicker all you want, but on your own time. Right now, I need to explain the seven rules of my game. Odd. There is something strange at the base of the stairs. Looks like a box draped in a blue cloth. Dots. The box looked like it was about twice as tall as the piglet standing at the uh, attention next to it. What was in there? It just didn't feel good. Weren't you going to explain the rules? Uh, well, once a day you'll risk your life to challenge one of the attra- to challenge one of the attractions. That's the game. Now, the first rule, the time limit for each game is seven hours. Whoa, what? The second rule is that you may not harm my illustri- illustrative illust- 
illustrious person. Oh uh, shit, I don't know how to read. Whoops. That includes, of course, my piglets, who I think of as part of my own body. My own body. Sure, fine, next rule. The third rule should be obvious, but you are solely and legally responsible for any danger you might find yourselves in. I'll have a waiver for you to sign. What if I just spoke like that for the rest of the video, you guys? Uh, that seems like cheating. The fourth rule. I thought I told you get this. Or well, more like a condition, I guess, is that if you can't beat a game, then that attraction blows up. No second chance. You coward. The fifth rule is that all communication within the outside is expressly verboten. Nothing, no one. What? Oh no, my agent's gonna freak. My sincerest apologies. Maybe you should think about that next time you decide to go and waste time having fun, oink. What a jerk. And of course, the sixth rule is that you're not allowed to escape, obviously. Err. The seventh and last rule is that if you are supposed to, or stoop supposed to, I can't read, I told you. Stupid enough to break any of my rules, the hostages all die. Oink, 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 oink. Oh no. As soon as he finished talking, Count Hoxie began to laugh, his stomach jiggling obscenely. How can he laugh about killing people? He's awful. I frowned, trying to think of something to say when. You son of a bitch! Stop, a man controls his emotions. He doesn't let his emotions control him. Yeah, well, I'm about to let my fist control his face. Ooh. Shido was doing his best to hold Mitsurashi back, but I wasn't sure how long he'd last. You need to calm down. If you get mad, you're just you're just doing what he wants. Correct. The rules prevent us from harming him. If we do, the hostages will be killed. Damn it. He swore and shook off Shido, slamming his fist into a nearby pillar. Oink, oink, oink. I have to say I'm relieved that at least one of you knows how to behave. With a slimy smile, he clapped his hands. At his signal, the piglets took hold of the blue cloth. It fell away from the box, revealing, Ah! Ugh. What I thought was a box was actually a giant cage, and inside of it was my uncle and the park management. So he's showing us how he can kill the hostages whenever he wants. Exactly. I hope you won't hold it against me. After all, if you just follow the rules, I won't be forced to do anything unpleasant. Such as, for instance, dropping a giant metal ball, oink oink, metal ball. As I spoke, he grinned and looked up towards the, toward the ceiling. I followed his gaze. <gasps> oh no. What? There's a giant, there's, there's a giant metal ball over the cage. No! It was all too clear what Count Hogstein's message was. That's... All he has to do is kill all of them. Is drop that ball. It was what we were all thinking, even if I'd been too afraid to say it. That... Oh, sorry. Wrong boys. That's cowardly. They can't even fight back. If you decide to hurt me, then splat! Good thing he held you back, huh? Close call. Oink, oink, oink. That sounds so weird when I do that. But I'm not gonna do... I'm not gonna snort. That bad shit. Well, I just did it, but I'm not gonna do it again. He was so smug. I just wanted to punch him in the ma that massive jiggly gut every time he opened his mouth. So long story short, you should try and follow those seven rules when you play through each attraction. There will be lots of puzzles for you to figure out. 
so I hope you're ready to work together and solve them. And the ones we can't beat will be blown up. Ah, yes, thank you for reminding me. I forgot to mention that you'll be blown up along with the attraction, so please do be careful. What? Are you for real? Well, if you can't beat it, then you can't get out. And if you can't get out, oh my. <gasps> he was talking about killing people, about killing us. How could he be so. So casual. Well, this wouldn't be very exciting game if your lives were in danger. So make sure you don't forget the rules. Oink oink oink. I won't let him get away with this. Everyone else was starting staring at the arrogant pig, probably thinking the same thing I was. Everyone except Wakasa. 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 I think it's Wakasa. Oh man, oh man, oh man, why me? He slumped to the ground holding his head. I'd volunteer to play Hogsteen sick game, but Wakasa hadn't. None of them had. I guess they're victims too. I felt a cold shiver run down my spine. There was no guarantee one of these men wouldn't try to escape. I knew my uncle, but apart from that, the hostages were complete strangers to all of us. I'm really not sure about these guys. I don't know anything about them. No! I have to trust them. We're going to be working together for seven days if I don't trust them. I shook my head. We'd never be able to win Hogsteen's games unless we trusted each other. The characters in Uncle Ken Kiji's games always talked about how important it was to believe in other people. I leveled a glare at the pig. There was no way I was going to lose. Well, now that we finished going over the rules, I think it's high time we started today's game. Oink. Finally getting started, huh? Oh. I, I know I said this last time, but I swear to God, he's like Alistair, like reincarnated or something. That was really, <laughs> excuse that, but just like. He looks like Alistair. I, I'm sorry, anyway. Today's game celebrates that wonderful world of RPGs. Let's move everyone. Come along now. I love doing a southern accent because I can do it really well. I know that. Another pigment appeared to guide us and we set off for the RPG attraction Hogstein had indicated. Before the opening, my uncle had told me that the park was divided into seven different themed areas. Each area has a main attraction that represents the theme. Look at how cute she is. How cute we are. I glanced around as I walked, trying to compare what I was seeing to what I remembered about the park's layout. No one spoke and our footsteps were heavy and slow. Everyone's mind was on what the pig had told us. Whatever. Right now, I need to concentrate on figuring out how to beat these games. I was glaring so hard at the back of the piglet's head, I didn't hear Shido start talking. Clear is that unless we can complete this game, the hostages are done for. The pig already said that, bro. I got it the first time. Yeah, but I doubt that vile beast told us the whole story. We need to act fast. We need facts. Damn it! I can't read! Details. We need to know the park. Err. Err. Well, now I... Well, now... I tell I just can't speak today. <laughs> uh, well, I know a little bit about it. I explained to them what I've been talk thinking earlier. So if the ma so the main attraction in the RPG part of the park is probably Samurai Fantasy Seven. Does that sound familiar? 
Battle Fantasy 7 Samurai Fan- uh, Did they make it? I think they did. I don't follow the Final Fantasy games. I know that there was Lightning, um, and then there was 10 and 10 and a half with Titus and Luna? And Riku, who is like my favorite Final Fantasy character ever because she's adorable and she's funky. Because I played Final Fantasy 10 and 10 and a half and didn't finish them because I couldn't beat them. And I don't know what the fuck I was doing in Final Fantasy 10 and a half, so. Anyway! Oh, so you know all about this then? No, not not really. I just happened to know that one thing, alright? That seems like a kind of a weird response, but whatever. Shudo frowned at Mitura Mitarashi, and then turned to me. Yes? So do you just happen to know these things too? What? No, um, well, I'm related to someone who works for the park. Is that so? Then perhaps they were in the enclosure we saw earlier? Yeah, they were. Interesting. That makes sense. You've stuck your neck out because your family was in trouble, even though you're a girl. Yeah. Oh, please accept my condolences. Arabe squeezed my hand reassuringly and gave me a somber bow. Maybe I should have mentioned my uncle earlier. Then they might have been more willing to help me. I thanked him and let go of his hand. Cute. Better get moving. We're heading for that Samu What's-It Phantasmagoria, right? <laughs> oh, it's cute. It's called Samurai Fantasy. In the game, a party of adventurers set out for Edo Palace. The castle and the country have been taken over by the Nurahian and the adventurers have to stop them. Well, look at you, Encyclopedia Miyoshi. You some kind of game freak? Yeah, I like games. I heard they were going to be giving out exclusive DLC at the opening today. That's the only reason I came. Oh, so that's why he knows about it. Mitarashi frowned. Huh? What the heck's DLC? That it means downloadable content. Right, fascinating. I think we've all got the basics here. But the question we ought to be asking, the question right in front of us, is what sort of devious puzzles did the pig make? Yes, he's quite a villain. I imagine there will be traps and like that we won't expect. Exactly. Shibri sighed and shifted the cigarette in his... Wait, that's not a cigarette. It's a snack? So we like sweets. Huh. I never would have guessed. I totally thought it was a cigarette. For some reason, I found my eyes drawn to it. It was almost hypnotic. Well, no point in sitting around then. Yeah. If all of this hadn't happened, what would Samurai Fantasy VII would have been like? I felt sad. I had a feeling Uncle Kiji did too. It's Samurai Fantasy 7. The gate looked like one of from a European castle, but the towers that rose up behind it looked Japanese. It could have come across as cheesy and contrived, but I thought it was a nice touch. It's just like the game. Really? Yeah. Yeah, that's great, but check this out. Huh? I turned to look. A statue of Count Hogstein. It was just like the statue we see in the plaza. How many do you think will talk to us through the screen again? Show of hands? It does seem likely. Ugh, I don't want to do this. I want to go home! Just as Wakasa began to moan, Count Hoxton appeared on the screen. Welcome everyone to the world of Samurai Fantasy Seven. I forgot the number for a moment. Whoops. Now you must enter Edo Palace to defeat the evil Nerheron, who controls the country of Edo. As you have already been informed, this quest will put your life in danger. Oink, oink. I'm getting way too into this. This is not good. This disgusting, his disgusting voice echoed through the empty air. Uh... Wakasuk had covered his ears and shut his eyes tight. 
just looking at him made me feel a little helpless and scared. I volunteered for this. I have to face the consequences. Shido gave him, me a small nod. I understand how you feel, young man, but we don't have a choice here. Stand up, even this young lady's doing her best to be brave. Uh. He slowly stood back up, but his face was pale, and he looked ready to collapse at any moment. Uh, maybe you should stay out here. I don't remember there being a rule about all seven of us having to go into the attraction. Yeah, he's just gonna get in our way if he keeps freaking out all the time. Agreed, he's only lower morale. He'd only lower morale. Probably smart not to put all, put all our eggs in one basket either. Rather not be dismal about this. But if we blow up this game, he'll save the hostages. Then we'd only need, what, like one or two of us to actually go in there, right? Then I'll just... But before he could even finish his sentence, Hostage's voice rang out again. Well, everybody's got to participate in the game, of course. Where's the fun if it blows up and some of you are in it? Besides, unless the seven of you work together, you'll never be able to finish it. Ah! There was something about what he said that triggered new feelings of apprehension. I glanced over at the others to see them staring silently at the screen. That's it then. We'll all go together. Ugh, alright, I'm going. Hoxie nodded sanctimoniously. Now then, please follow my picnic here into the castle. Oink! The person in black turned to us and gestured. Huh? It seemed like he's trying to say something. I get the feeling he wants us to follow him. The pilot nodded earnestly. Earnestly. Little creep can't talk? That doesn't matter. Let's move, men. And woman! She just strode off toward the castle without waiting for the rest of us to follow. I trotted along behind him, and the other slowly followed suit. As we got close, the castle gates began to grind open. Hey, what are we going to have to do in there? It didn't speak, just twitched around like a worm in a frying pan. I got no idea what the little bastard's trying to say. You think all of them are like this? I'm not sure. Was it possible Count Hoxine had forbidden them from talking? Alright, so right there is where we're going to end the episode before we go in the, um, the thing. The place. And, um, like and subscribe, and the next video will come out the next the day after tomorrow and I hope you guys all enjoyed watching and subscribe and comment down below if you want to see more or suggest any games you want me to play I have on the PSP definitely if you want me to see, play games on here I know Chorus Party is uh, mainly on this I can play that if you guys want just let me know in the comments down below and I will see you guys next time bye